Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to increase your 3G speeds on the Samsung Epic 4G Touch. This uh, basically what it's going to do is bypass the Sprint proxies and should overall increase your data speeds. Maybe not drastically, but maybe a little bit. But anyways, what we're gonna need to do is, uh, first you need to be rooted and then install Terminal Emulator from the market. So it's called Terminal Emulator from Jack Palvich, I believe. Um, but anyways, I ran a speed test and I haven't made these edits yet. And let me go to results. As you can see right now, 0.14 megabit, megabits per second, point 04 megabits per second upload so awful speeds i'm getting terrible speeds right now for some reason um, but let's go ahead and make some edits and see what they come out to be so what we're going to need to do first is get our msl number so to do so go to terminal emulator and what you're going to need to do is type su in so type su in and press enter uh, super user should pop up you got to hit allow so allow it super user permissions all right, so after you type SU in, you should see a little uh, a pound sign right there. What we're gonna need to do is type in get prop, G-E-T-P-R-O-P, -P, right there, space, R-I-L, and this is all in lowercase. Make sure everything is in lowercase. R-I-L dot, and then capitalize the M-S-L. Capitalize all three of those letters. So just like that, get prop, space, R-I-L dot, capital M-S-L, and press enter and then you'll see your MSL number right there. Just write it down. So mine's 292136. So write down your MSL number, and once you have it written down, we are just about ready to go. So go back to your home screen. And now what we're gonna need to do is go ahead and go into the dialer, actually, and you're gonna need to type in pound pound data, which is pound pound 3282, and then hit pound again. Should take you to this uh, data programming screen, hit edit, Type in your MSL number, so make sure you remember that MSL number. I forgot it already, 292136. So let me type that MSL number in. And then it should take you to this screen. So what you're gonna need to do now is go ahead and go to Others, and then select Multimedia. And then it should bring you up the, this screen right here, basically a bunch of addresses and, and numbers. We're gonna need to edit all four of these. Um, to edit them, now on the top one you should see it, it's basically these are the default settings. I will post the default settings in the description of the video in case you ever want to go back. to. I believe that if you install a flash a new ROM, do a factory reset, these will get reset as well. Don't hold me to it as I haven't tested it yet, but they should. Anyways, click on the first one and you're going to need to just erase it all and change it to zero dot zero dot zero dot zero so change it to that and hit OK and then go to RTSP proxy port and change that five five four to zero and then go ahead and go to the next one and erase it all and change it to zero dot zero dot zero dot zero and hit OK and then the last one change that eight oh eight five to you guessed it zero and hit OK so, I mean, you got four zeros up at the top, one zero in the second one, four zeros in the third one, and one zero in the last one. So, once you've done that, you're, you're actually ready to go. So, go ahead and just back out of it. And what I'm going to recommend you doing is rebooting your phone. So, power it on off, and then power it back on, and then I will be back once that's done. All right, once your phone reboots, I'm just going to recommend going to Settings, scroll down, go to About Phone, and then select System Updates and then just do an update uh, PRL and update your profile as well. So update both of those. All right, so once you once you edit the, once you update your profile and PRL, you're, you're actually ready to go. No big deal if one of them airs, just try it again later. Um, but that's it, we're ready to go. So I mean, let's go to speed test. I'll run one really quick um, just to, to see what they look like, but it, it generally should increase your speeds just because it's bypassing the sprint proxies. And, that, and that's pretty much it. So everything should be increased. As you can see, the speeds look like they're going up a little bit. They're still pretty bad, but still increased a little bit as from the previous test. But that's it. So uh, hopefully that uh, helps some of you guys with your 3G speeds. Let me know what kind of results you do get. Leave a comment in the video. Uh, be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.